Why spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me Let me be real here When I see you my heart starts racing But I don't know if I like this chasing And playing and waiting around It's a shame that my hands start shaking You might also know me as Bits of Brie over on Instagram. Welcome to the 2020 Spring Clean and Decorate with me. These are one of my favorite videos to make. And we're gonna be cleaning up, just my house needs a general tidy up. I've got it all written on my to-do list, which I'll show you in one second. And we're gonna decorate the family room, the kitchen, the foyer, and the kids' dining room for spring and Easter for 2020. And I've got some really delicious recipes that I think you will love for Easter. I've also got some DIY crafts that I wanna work on for spring and Easter with you. So it's gonna be a clean with me, cook with me, decorate with me, craft with me, DIY with me. Lots of stuff to do on listen to today's video. Let me show it to you quickly. This is the to-do list today. Obviously a lot, but if you like this to-do list, it's over on my blog. Just sign up with your email for my newsletter and I can send this to you. And if you sign up for that newsletter, I also have a ton of other free printables that I can send to you to help you get organized around your home when you're cleaning and doing any sort of homemaking. So. That's my mission here is I try to make videos that give you tons of motivation and inspiration when you're homemaking and you can make your home a lovely place for your family and yourself. But okay, let's get to cleaning and decorating for spring 2020. I'm so excited, let's go. So first I just needed to do a good tidy and declutter. I wanted the spaces I was decorating to be nice and neat and clean before I put up the decorations for spring and Easter. I'm just so ready for some nice weather. I'm curious, let me know in the comments what you prefer. Do you like snow and winter? Or do you prefer warm sunshine spring? <laughs> let me know in the comments while you're watching today. And I'm so excited because this video is a collaboration with my sweet friend Amanda from the channel This Crazy Life. She's cleaning and decorating for spring today and she'll also be sharing some Dollar Tree DIYs as well as a gluten-free treat recipe with you in her video that looked really good. So please go check out Amanda, tell her I sent you and show her lots of love. She's doing a declutter series, room makeovers and spring cleaning on her channel this month so I know you will love this crazy life. And if Amanda sent you here, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Please subscribe for motivational homemaking videos. My goal is to help make your home full of love for your family with every video that I make. So join our community of love, leave a prayer request if you need some extra love today. And that's why all my subs are called my loves because that's what this channel is all about. And I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but I have not been able to shake the cough and cold. I've had this since right after Disney World. I feel like we all picked up coughs, but the kids and Adam were able to get rid of theirs and I have not. And it's really frustrating because I'm usually never sick. I'm the one out of all of us that's never sick. And I did go get checked out and I was told I had some signs of pre-pneumonia. So they put me on an antibiotic and an inhaler that I've been on since last week. And I have been resting as much as I can making sure I get enough sleep and fluids. So if you have any tips, because I'm just struggling to shake this thing, please let me know in the comments. Maybe that's why I'm craving sunshine and spring so badly as I'm just over this winter cold season. We've been here too long. I can't breathe, I can't take it slow. One of the things I love to do is get some fresh flowers for in our home, especially for spring. So I got some of these small bouquets to mix together and just make it extra fresh feeling. But I'm curious, what is your favorite kind of flower? I've always loved roses and hot pink roses are my personal favorite. So let me know yours in the comments.
Until I saw and I met your eyes That's why I'm moving close and if you watched my Valentine's Day clean and decorate with me video, I wanted to keep some of the pink and purple decor up to carry into spring. And I just love how bright and fresh it all looks in the kitchen. I'm also gonna be decorating the family room, the kids room, and our foyer in this video. And at the end, I've got some recipes that are so yummy and so cute for Easter and spring. Your family will love them. And I've got some very easy Dollar Tree DIYs that you can totally totally do with your kiddos. So I'll share those later in this video with you too. And I did get some new decor for around the house this year. I really fell in love with some of the spring decor I found at Michael's. That's where I got these plates and the tiered stands and eggs. So I will link any of the decor in the description box in case you see anything that you would like for your home. But I just think it's really fun to get placemats and then layer a charger and these bunny plates were so cute and just look so pretty for Easter. So just in case you're hosting Easter, this is a really fun way to decorate. Now in the foyer, I wanted to keep it chic and simple with some bunnies and fresh white tulips, just very classic spring decor. If you wanna see last year's spring decorate with me video, check it out. I did a lot of bright florals. It was very bold and I just decided to change it up this year and do something a little more neutral. You have to let me know if you like it. And I got these pillows from Target and Michaels. I thought they were so cute for the bench in here. And this is just an easy way to decorate a small space like this. Add a throw pillow for this season. And I hung this little bunny that looks to me like a peep from Big Lots. The kids really liked him, so that's why I got him. And who's watched the first video in my 2020 spring cleaning series? You probably saw what a mess it was underneath this couch. Oh my lord, you have to go check it out if you haven't. But I wanted to do a good vacuum of the couch before I put some of the new pillow covers on for spring. And I decided to make it all different pastels. So keep the purple and pinks. And I got some pastel blue pom-pom pillow covers on Amazon. And pillow covers are totally the way to go if you want to change up your decor or colors seasonally, but not take up a ton of space in your linen closet. And it's nice because this way you can get new pillow fillers because I read this fun fact or gross fact that 10% of your pillows become dust mites and their droppings after a year, which is when you should replace them. But isn't that so gross? So totally replace your pillows at least once a year. And then it's nice that your pillow covers can last a little longer and you can keep reusing those. Just get a fresh pillow with no dust mites for inside. For the mantle, I changed things up this year as well. I saw this sign at Michael's, the home sweet home with the florals behind it, and I just fell in love with it. And I got this garland that had some hanging branches that I thought would look really pretty hanging over the mantle. And then I saw these triangular bushes in the white pots at Big Lots. So I added in some of my own sprigs of pink so that it has the pops of blue and purple and pink, just like the pillows on the couch. And these are such an easy DIY decor for spring. I got these bunches of peonies 
in white and pink and some purple hydrangea bunches at Michael's and filled up these wooden Easter baskets with them. And I just thought it was so cute to have next to the Easter bunnies. And you know, I can take the bunnies down after Easter's over and just leave these up for spring. They're a really fun way to decorate inside and just add lots of pops of colors and florals. And for the entertainment center, because this is newer, it wasn't here last spring, I just kept it lots of chic greens and I used a bunch of the little bunnies that I had to decorate other places last year. I just scattered them around the shelves. So kind of a nice way to add in some Easter decor. If you don't want to go all out, just get some little bunnies and like tuck them into your shelves or around your decor that's already out around your home. Moving on to the kids' room, I got some new pastel decor in here. Again, last spring, I was feeling really bold and used all these bright colors, and I was just feeling a little more toned down, pastel vibe this year. So pretty much everything in this room, I picked up in Target's Easter decor section, the eggs and the garlands, and they had these adorable spring plates and petal bowls in the kitchenware section for the kids. I just thought these were so cute. Let me know if you like them. I know you always like to know what I am cleaning with. So today I was using the Caldrea Rosewater Driftwood. So Simply Kaylee told me she really liked this scent. So I ordered it from Grove in the linen spray too. And it did smell so fresh and clean for spring. And I feel like it's a really good winter to spring transition scent as well. So thank you, Kaylee. I'm so happy that I cleaned with that one today. But okay, let's see where we are at. Did the kids room. I need to frost this cake and then I think I can make some of the other recipes and then I wanted to do the DIYs with the kids too. And I showed you my last spring cleaning video how I decorated this three-tiered stand for St. Patrick's Day. I also have some St. Patrick's Day treat ideas in that video so make sure you check it out as well. But since this is the spring clean and decorate, I wanted to show you how I'm decorating it for Easter for spring this year too. I got some chocolate bunnies wrapped in gold and a variety of different size pastel Easter eggs, some that had like gold metallic on them, and I filled up the coffee mugs with them. And I just kept that same greenery in the back for filler. And I was thinking if you were decorating your three-tiered stand, if you didn't want to do all eggs, you could find jelly beans or other Easter candy to fill the mugs up with too. I was just going for a very good pastel look. And I like that the gold bunnies contrasted the metal stand. So that's why I like decorating three-tiered stands. It's just fun and you can decorate it for every season and just get creative. But I will link mine in the description box for you in case you're looking for a three-tiered stand. This is the weather outside today while I'm filming. Poor Coley. Feels so bad for doggies on days like today. And here's a little decor tour of everything around my home for spring. I hope that this inspires you when you're decorating for spring and Easter this year for your family.
Now let's get cooking. Time for my Easter Bunny dirt cake recipe. Okay, so the first treat that I'm going to be making with you guys is called an Easter dirt cake. It's really cute. It looks like a garden with carrots in it. I saw this on Pinterest, so we're gonna make it together. Now the one on Pinterest used strawberry cake, but they didn't have it when I was at Target, so I'm using chocolate cake, which will still look like the garden dirt. Before making this cake, I would find the strawberries that have a lot of leaves on them like this because that helps give them more of that carrot appearance.
to frost this Easter dirt cake. So I'm gonna be putting the chocolate frosting on first, then putting the Oreo dirt, and then putting the carrots into the dirt. I think this cake is one of my favorites I've ever made on Pinterest. I just think it's so cute. Looks like a little bunny carrot garden. Okay, this next drink is going to be a twist on a Cosmo, but I'm gonna call it a peep teeny because I'm gonna use a little peep and some pink sugar to garnish the rim of these glasses. So I'm gonna get started actually setting up the rim for us because that will make it just a little bit easier. I'm just going to like take a little lemon wedge and go along the outside of the glass with the lemon wedge and then roll the edge of the glass through the sugar so that the sugar sticks on it and then it like tastes nice when you have a little bit of that sweet and sour sort of a vibe. But I gotta tell you guys, this is like why it's probably one of my favorite videos to make. I mean, I get to clean, I get to decorate, and I get to make cocktails and treats in the middle of the day. This is amazing. <laughs> oh, what is my life right now? Okay, so the back part of the glasses are done. I'll get the piece out of here. need two of them and I'll just cut like a very little slice down the center so that it can stick to the rim okay there we go oh this one might fall on me I need to cut that up a little more I think it helps if you kind of slice it so that there's a little bit more up the back of the marshmallow because then it sort of like holds the peep on the glass a little better, I think. We're just gonna pray that that one stays on. Okay, so then I'm going to use pink cranberry juice. I just thought this would look a little lighter and prettier than dark cranberry juice, um, but you could definitely use regular cranberry juice and it's still gonna look cute. And I'm just gonna pour to fill up about like a third of my shaker with the cranberry juice and then I have raspberry flavored vodka you could use regular vodka or any other fruit flavor that you like but I'm doing raspberry and I'm gonna put two shots worth into my shaker and then I'm gonna do if I can open it there we go. Um, I'm gonna do a shot of triple sec in here. And then I'm just gonna squeeze like half of the lemon into here. All right. Put this on. Make sure that's on nice and tight. I was never a bartender, but I always thought it looked fun when they were like shaking up their drinks. Okay. Oh, and I should mention I put ice in my shaker so that the drink was like nice and cool. Um, and then I will just pour it into the glass. And see, I think the pink cranberry juice, it is like such a soft pink, so it just makes it look like a little more clear and pretty. If you use regular cranberry juice, it would probably look a little more like reddish pink. But, <coughs> this cough. Can't even say cheers appropriately. Happy Easter. Cheers to you. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. This is the 
claiming motivation. I need it, guys. I don't know about you. I've seen it called bunny bait or bunny trail mix, but it's super simple to make and just a way I feel like to make a seasonal treat for your kids. This could also be something really cute that maybe you like wrap in really pretty bags. I know they have them at Dollar Tree or different craft stores that are Easter designed and put them in Easter baskets or use them as like a school snack. And I am gonna make this one nut free just because my son does have a nut allergy but I have seen different like trail mix or bunny bait recipes that do use nuts. So if that's not a problem in your house, you don't have to worry about it. But I'm gonna use, I found birthday cake bunny grams. They're so cute. They're like Easter colored and shaped like bunnies. I got the vanilla checks. You could do just plain checks as well, but I thought this would add like a nice sweet flavor because this is gonna be like a pretty sweet slash salty because of the pretzels um, trail mix. So I got some pretzel sticks. You could also use the little pretzel grids. Is that what they're technically called? I don't know if they're really called, but got white chocolate chips. I got the Easter colored M&Ms. And then I found some bunny marshmallows. So they're different Easter shapes. I think there's, is there eggs too? No, they're just all shaped like bunnies. So little bunny marshmallows. And then I got, for whatever reason, my Target didn't have the big bag, so I had to buy the little snack boxes. But yogurt covered raisins. I'm gonna add in the full bag of the bunny grams. And I'm eyeballing this, but two cups about of the vanilla checks. And then same thing, I would say two-ish cups of the pretzels. And then I'm gonna use half the bag of the bunny marshmallows. And I'm gonna do just a cup of the white chocolate chips. And then same thing, I'm gonna do about half the bag's worth of the M&Ms. Now this is gonna be so annoying, but I'm just gonna dump in these yogurt covered raisins, which the only plus side is they happen to be Easter colored. So they are like purple and yellow and pink. So they do look really cute. Okay, then I'm just going to mix this all up. And if I were having a party, I would just leave it in the bowl like this, but you could also pre-portion it into little snack bags for lunches or treats at school. Well, it is the next day and I've got my buddy Landon and we're gonna do some spring and Easter crafts for you. Everything is so easy to make, all from like Dollar Tree or Target, so very inexpensive. For this first DIY, I got everything at the Dollar Tree, candy jars, glitter bunnies on sticks, and bags of different jelly beans, and these chocolate eggs in different colored foil to fill up the candy jars with. And then we broke the stick part off of the bunnies and used hot glue on the bottom of the bunny and voila, a super cute DIY Easter candy jar. We have a cute little bunny candy jar. Cute? Yeah. Okay, so pull the bunny off the stick. Very good. And I'll hand mama the bunny and I'll put the hot glue on it, okay? Nice. Now you can screw that lid on the top of the candy jar. Such a good helper. Good job. You want to go set it on the table with the other one? Nice work. <laughs> it looks so good. Good job, bud.
Okay, so for this crap, we're just gonna cover the outside of these pots when they're upside down in the white paint. So Landon's working on his little bunny pot craft. Good, don't touch them, just let them stick and dry, okay? Now you gotta put the glue on the little bunny booty. Huh? Yep. Can't see it. <gasps> Yours looks so good. I love it, Landon. Good work. Did you have fun doing that? So if you wanna make this, I just, again, got a little set of three pots and the white paint from Dollar Tree and they had these little yarn bunny kits. So I just used the tail and the ears from that kit to make these. And I feel like these are so perfect for teacher gifts for Easter because they're so cute to set on a teacher's desk and they're very affordable teacher gifts. Here, so now I've got my clear twine here. It's hard to see on camera and those glitter eggs. Lana, do you wanna take those out? And then I'm gonna be using my hot glue gun to make the garland. So Landon's pulling the string out of each of the eggs. Just pull it out of there, good. Good. So I'm gonna do the first one just to show you and then you can glue on the rest. But I'm gonna put my hot glue right on the top of the egg. Fast. And then, here. Just hold it. No, hold the string, Landon. Landon, hold the string. Yeah, and you have to hold it there until the hot glue gets a little hardened. I think it's better if you hold the string like that. Like on the top of the egg. Okay? No, 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 you can't pull it up. You gotta hold, yep, hold it down. Good. Good. Yay. Okay, you ready to do another one? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Where'd you learn that? That's cute. Okay, you ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's coming along, huh? Aw, you give me a hug. Do you like doing this? Oh, mama's boy. Do you know that's what I prayed for when you were in my belly? <laughs> I prayed that I would have a little boy that would love his mommy. Because I was nervous. I didn't ever have a brother. And I didn't know if a boy would like his mom or if he would just want to hang out with daddy. So I prayed. I like you. you like me? I like you and daddy. I know you love both of us. That's the best. But he plays me just love daddy. Presley just loves daddy? I don't know. She doesn't love me? I mean, I, I don't know I do. I think she loves mommy and daddy too, just mm -hmm. like you do. I love you. I do. I like doing crafts with you. Okay, so here's our finished egg garland. It turned out so good, Landon. Mm -hmm. Nice job. Landon's so excited, because where did you hang your garland? I love it there. It looks so cute with the bunnies. That's where he wanted it, in the foyer table. Good work, bud. Nice job. I like it. I can't see it when you get in the way, smiles. And this is one of those meals that is perfect when you have a day where you just have a lot going on and you're looking for something simple and easy. I feel like that happens all the time in the spring, whether it's spring cleaning or just being outside a little bit more. You want something quick that's light but still filling and that's what I love about this spaghetti squash recipe. So fast, so easy, low carb so it doesn't like make you feel carb bloat, especially in the spring when I feel like you're wearing 
you know, either whether it's like getting into bathing suit season already or shorts or whatnot. So I just love this meal because I feel like it's really healthy and fresh and filling, but doesn't have the carb bloat. And you can definitely make your own pesto, but I got this in my Thrive Marketplace order last, so I'm just gonna use this artichoke pesto. And then once you've scooped all of the seeds out, get a fork, and if you just scrape along the sides of the squash, you can see why it gets its name of spaghetti squash, because it literally peels off and looks just like spaghetti noodles. Okay, so here is the spaghetti squash with the pesto and black olives and sliced grape tomatoes and I just sprinkled some pepper and parsley on the top to season it and some mozzarella cheese as well. But I like this as a meatless option for dinner too, especially since it's Lent season and just, you know, it's more eco-friendly too. So, and I feel like it always tastes really good with just like a squeeze of some like fresh lemon on the top too. It's a very fresh springy, not pasta dish, but mock pasta dish that's also really great for the Mediterranean diet, too. Okay, I'm gonna do a taste test. Mmm, that's so good. Oh, hey, you! Honey, you got to be in it earlier. Let Presley have a turn. Hi? Hi. Say thank you for watching. Thank you. Do you want to tell them anything else? Thank you for watching. I hope you eat your food. And I love. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed, huh? Landon really wanted to get in on this. I can tell. I hope that you enjoyed the spring clean and decorate with me for 2020. Say so we'll see you in the next video. I see you in the next video. Bye. And then you just back now. Is it bath night? No, last night was bath night. Bye. Got you. There's no reason to chasing paper.